Welcome to Steve Taylor's High School Stars of the Week. I'm Nick Marconi here with Steve Taylor, Tom Cole, and Terry Crosby. And the team is excited to be back for the 2021 school year. Steve, take it away. Thank you, Nick, for that awesome introduction. And yep, fellas, I'm glad to be back for another 2021 year of Steve Taylor's High School Stars of the Week. We've got an exciting show. We're kicking off. These are going to be some fantastic football players. Yep. We're talking about a couple of uh, quarterbacks, wide receivers from St. Francis and Finley. Yep. And I know St. Francis is a big story coming out this year because of their new head coach, right? I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah. Coach uh, Gretkowski had his first, you know, his first game as a head coach in high school, and uh, it went pretty well for yes. him. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. So we're going to kick off the show with a talented young man, a quarterback, who led his team back from uh, being down, what, 14 nothing. Yeah. I, and, uh, uh, tell a little more about this guy. I, uh, back in the day, I coached against Clyde a number of times, uh, and I'll tell you what, if you know anything about Clyde High School in football, that's, they play great football. St. Francis was down 14 to nothing to a very good Clyde team, and Denham Truss, who's their quarterback, uh, brought him back uh, through a touchdown to Michael Parrish to win the game. Uh, they were down 14 zip, they ended up winning 21-14, so it's a storybook it is ending for great Coach first. Gradkowski, right? yeah, 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 very cool. What do you think about Coach Gradkowski coming in? You know, this guy's got a great record at UT, then went on to NFL. I mean, pretty cool. He's coming back co coaching in the hometown. You know, that's a wonderful experience for Coach Bruce. And, and you know, Clyde, as Tom just mentioned, is a very, very tough team. And so for St. Francis to come back after being 14 down and a half, that is going to have a big statement for the rest of the year. Yeah. So great job, Coach, Coach, and, and also the players. We can't move on until we talk about Terry's uh, awesome jersey here. I think he's he's like ready to go. He's suiting up, ready for the Boss, season. Boss, I told Cross, because Cross, Cross told me, he said, you know, downstairs, he said, hey, you look like you dropped two or three pounds. And I said, hey, I'm only eating half the pizza now. That's the diet I'm on. And, and, and I said, well, you know, Cross, maybe we make a comeback, yes. you know. And I said, I have no problem handing you off the football, right. but, but I ain't blocking for you. <laughs> so, and, and guess what I said? I, I said it would be Crosby runs for a couple of inches. <laughs> uh, uh, man, imagine that dynamic duo of Cole Crosby backfield. Man, oh, man. I don't know. Oh. Hey, if nothing else, these guys are legends in their own mind. <laughs> yeah, right? there, there, you on, there, you with, there you go. Share it with There you go. And you know, boss, I won't let you forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So so our first two stars are these young men over at St. Francis. Yep. We've got the quarterback, yep. uh, wide receiver tandem there. But yep. now we're going to move over down, down to Finley. Yeah. And we've got uh, a family story here, if I remember right. We've got a uh, young man playing quarterback, and I believe it's his cousin. Yes. Is that right? That's, yes. That's a wide receiver, yep. and they hooked up for a big win, too? Yeah. yeah Tell us about that story. It's very cool. We, of course, you have a great uh, dealership in Finley, which is kind of nice, because sure. Finley's football team is going to be outstanding yep. this year. I heard people that watched them in the preseason, they said, look out. Yeah. We yeah. said they, they've, they've got, got a heck D1 talent. Yeah, they right. got some big-time yeah. talent. Quarterback is named Max Roth. The wide receiver is Justin Roth. And as Hank Williams Jr. once said, it's a family tradition. <laughs> they threw a couple touchdown passes amongst themselves yep. and led uh, Finley to a, a big, big win over a perennially tough team, Anthony Wayne. Yeah. So it was a big win for Finley. That's awesome. And you know, that's a great combination. That, that really is, you know, when you got the quarterback being uh, a cousin yeah. of the wide receiver, that is a hell of a combination. Yeah. So, and as you were saying, Tom, they, Finley's going to have a very good team this year. Yeah. They won the season opener against Anthony Wayne. Well, so that's great. Well, you know, Cross and, and Boss, when, it, when you do have people that are related, whether it's brothers or cousins, you've played the game a little bit in the backyard, right? It's one of those where, hey, you run down to the tree, hook around the <laughs> bottle cap, and I'll hit you. Yep. And, and when you know somebody that well, sometimes you can do that in the huddle, you know? Yeah. And, and I think there's a family connection. That's there. great. It's going to be fun to watch yep, for sure. I think so. Hey, well, that's it for our first edition. We're highlighting St. Francis and Finley, two big track schools, kicking off the season with football. But we know there's a lot of other sports out there. We know... Girls tennis, girls golf mm -hmm. is yep. going on. We know volleyball is going on right yep. now, cross country. There's so many sports. We want to hear from you. Let us know of any of these great student athletes that are out there that are making a difference, not only you know on the court, in the community, in the classroom. We want to hear from anybody that you think is doing a great job that you'd like to see recognized on the show. It's going to be a lot of fun. Back for another 2021 edition of Steve Taylor's High School Stars of the Week. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.